I'm going to do another penetration test with the 8mm Mauser and the stack of magazines I got here. This time I'm going to try one of the Romanian surplus mild steel core bullets here. Last time I just tried the standard SMB 196 grain FMJ and it only went through to about here. I tried to mark the spot there. So one of these with the mild steel core should hold itself together a little bit better. The soft lead core FMJ broke apart pretty fast so I'm expecting we should get at least a little bit more penetration from one of these than that one unless it just comes out the side or something which would suck but anyways I'll be shooting from about 20 feet away again from directly in front of the magazines and let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, so we got a nice entry again right here. That's where the standard SMB hit. Here's where the Romanian surplus hit. I already checked and there's no exits on any of the sides, so it didn't come out anywhere. That's good. Let's go ahead and find out where it stopped in here. This is the first one I checked with the last test, and no, nope, didn't even make it there either, which is about 8 inches through. Feels like something's bulging on it though. Let's check right in front of it. Yeah, there's something there it looks like. Yep. So it made it all the way there. The SNB FMJ made it to the 31st magazine. Let's go ahead and count what one this is. So 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 40 41 and put a hole in the 42nd one but didn't go through it so it made it to the 42nd while the other one made it to the 31st so we did get a little bit more penetration with the mild steel core must have held itself together a little better as expected those are the last two magazines just a little split in the very last one just like with the standard FMJ. The last one just had a little split. Let's see if we can find the projectile at all because there's nothing here, just a hole. Okay, so it went all the way to right here. The 42nd one, that's where it put its last hole. And here was the 31st one, which is where the FMJ stopped. So, And those are stuck together pretty good. So those magazines are like sealed together now from the projectile going through there. Let's go ahead and try and pull them all out. From the last one here that the FMJ stopped at to where the steel core stopped at. So there's where the steel core went through. This little split here is where the FMJ actually stopped. That was the last damage that the FMJ did. So the steel core came through almost right where the FMJ stopped too, but you can tell it was sideways, but since it's mild steel, it didn't expand like the lead core, but it's definitely tumbling. But it's still cutting through there pretty good. Bunch of magazine particles, just like with the other one. And these are stuck together, and there's a tip of a bullet right there. So, that was 31, 32, 32 seconds. That's the 35th magazine right here, and we have the bullet stuck right there. And these magazines are stuck together. See? So, I'm going to have to pull these apart. I think the whole bullet's in there. Yeah, you can see it right there. And look at that cut that it made. Holy crap. All of a sudden, it just made a huge cut. It went in and must have somehow tumbled sideways or something look at that it's still intact steel core too you can see the steel core in there and it just bent a little bit there on the tip and opened up a little on the back that's pretty cool here on the 35th magazine where the bullet was stuck it seems like it came in here sideways and then here on the 36th magazine it traveled down or something like that let's see 
It kept going, did a bunch of damage here, still going through. Maybe it turned itself around, that's almost what it looks like. Like it stopped right here, and then the bullet just probably tumbled downwards, like, so I'm thinking it just went like, and then the bullet stopped like that, but it made it all the way here to the 42nd magazine. Okay, and actually, on the 34th magazine in front of this one, there's a little hole here too. So the bullet poked a hole in the first one there. So it did, it obviously tumbled back like that. So it came in and then reversed itself and stuck a couple inches back. That's kind of interesting, but did devastating damage once it did that tumble. As you can see right there, it's just a massive rip, almost four inches long. See the exit and the entry there. Massive damage. And there's the 42nd, the last one, so. And right here is where the FMJ stopped again on the 31st, just put that little cut, so. The steel core went through that much extra but it ended up being stuck somewhere around here because it reversed itself like we saw. I pulled out all the first magazines in front of where the FMJ stopped now. I left the very last magazine that the standard FMJ stopped here and the steel core stopped here at this black one, but let's go ahead and just take a look at all these first ones. There's the very first entries. That's the standard FMJ and there's the steel core Romanian surplus entry. So. Second magazine, still just straight entries. Third magazine. Fourth magazine. Fifth magazine. Looks like the steel core one's getting bigger now already. That's strange. So, here's the sixth magazine. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. And tenth. Still just mostly straight holes a little bit of expansion it seems like maybe they're tumbling slightly the fmj still looks like it's going straight through though so here on the 14th magazine the standard fmj still going straight through it looks like while the mild steel core is starting to tumble slightly there's the exit you can tell that steel core is tumbling slightly there FMJ still going straight through. Whoops, I skipped a magazine. That was actually the 15th there with it, where you could see the tumble there, so. Here's number 16 here. Definitely getting tumble there with the Romanian surplus. Still looks like a straight hole with the standard FMJ, but here on the one behind it, the 17th magazine, now it looks like the FMJ is starting to tumble too. Look at that hole starting to open up. And now the Romanian surplus hole is looking kind of strange. There's the exits on the 16th, 17th magazine here. Here's the 18th, SMB FMJ definitely opening up now. It's probably starting to break apart rather than just tumble. There's the Romanian surplus hole, a lot smaller. FMJ opening up more and more. Okay, we're on the 21st magazine now. The exit from the FMJ is getting pretty big now. The steel core is 
a pin size hole again, or a bullet diameter hole, I mean. Here we go, 22nd magazine. This is where the FMJ really started opening up. 23rd. Those are stuck together pretty good. Here's the 24th. Now the steel core hole is traveling closer towards the FMJ's hole. So it's starting to tumble to the side a little, it seems. The exit there. FMJ's got a huge exit. Starting to rip apart now. Twenty fifth magazine, twenty seven, twenty eight. Look at the steel core exit right next to the FMJ fragments exits really close to each other. 28th magazine. They still have separate entries so the steel core didn't get any like less resistance at all because it's just right next to it as all. And these ones are stuck together really good. There's the exits there. 29th magazine. Now the steel core exit is almost combined with the FMJ exit, but right here is where the FMJ stopped. This was the last magazine that it damaged, and the steel core went through right there. FMJ stopped, and just put a little split on the next magazine in front of it, and then the steel core kept going through the next 10 or 11 magazines or so right here. until we got that massive four inch split. Okay, so here's one last look at the remains of the bullet. So here's the 154 grain Romanian steel core after going through 42 magazines. That's what remains of it. Just a little bent up on the tip there. And a little separation of the jacket from the core there at the back the base of the bullet and then here's the remains of the S&B 196 grain FNJ, FMJ after going through 31 magazines that's all that was left of it so this one went through 42 and this one went through 31 and this one has nearly 600 foot pounds more of muzzle energy than this one but this one obviously went through more because it held its shape together better Anyways, that's all.